Thanks for joining this quick getting started screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we're going to set up a raise error data extension to understand why a specific condition in an email was not met. We will review the AMP script code needed for this scenario, and we will make a test send and review the data added to this raise error data extension. First, we will create a data extension that logs the information related to the email containing the raise error function. Navigate to Audience Builder, then Contact Builder. Click Data Extensions. Click Create. A pop-up window will appear. Please add a name. We will leave the section, such as External Key, Description, and Sendable, as is. Click Next. On the Data Retention Policy page, let's set up the retention setting. We'll leave it as is for this demo, and click Next. On the Attributes page, we will add four new fields. Job ID, which is the job ID of the send made, the email name of the email of the send made, the subscriber key, which is the subscriber we are sending to, and finally, let's add a field called AMP script, which is the associated value added to the AMP script variable at the time of send. Now let's click Complete and OK. Our data extension is now created, so we'll test it with an email. Let's navigate to Content Builder, then Content Builder. Here, we will create an email and add a raise error function. An email's already been created for this test called raise error log. Let's review the code and test. Click the email called raise error log and click edit, then edit content to review the code. A pop-up window will appear if the email does not include the code to track opens. We'll click OK. On this page, on the left, we'll see the code we created for this test. Let's review it. We can divide this code into two sections. In the first section, we set up the variable ABC, and we added a static value for this test. In the second section, we created an if-else condition. If the else condition is met, then the raise error function will be triggered, and the value associated to the variable ABC will be added to the data extension. The insert DE function logs the job ID, email name, subscriber key, and associated value added to the ABC AMP script variable to the data extension we created earlier. If we look under the insert DE function, we can see the raise error function and multiple parameters such as variable not correct, which will be the error message to display. This is the error message that will pop up when we will do the preview later in this video. This is a required parameter. One, in this case, indicates we skip the send for the current subscriber and move to the next subscriber. This parameter is optional. The third and fourth parameters will be the API error code and the API error number these are optional parameters you can use to record and track specific errors by an ID. You can use any numeric value that makes sense for your implementation. The last parameter will indicate whether the function records information to data extensions before error occurs. This parameter is optional. In this video, we are storing the value for the variable ABC to the raise error data extension. However, this is customizable, and the error message, API error code, as well as API error number, can be stored in this data extension in a separate column. For more information about raise error and insert DE, please see our documentation here on developer.salesforce.com. We've put a link to this in the short description of this video for you. We can see that the variable ABC is linked to the value ABD, so the raise error function will be triggered and the information will be added to the raise error data extension.
Let's click Next. On this page, we will select a subscriber key to do the preview. Click the blue folder icon, then All Subscribers, then select an active subscriber. An error message will pop up, which is expected, because the raise error was triggered since the variable's value does not match the if condition. Now, let's navigate to the Test Send section and add our email address. We will leave the additional options as is and click Send Test. This test will not trigger an email, so instead, wait a couple of minutes and check the Raise Error Log data extension we created to see what value was passed in the AMP script variable. Let's navigate to Audience Builder, then Contact Builder. Click Data Extensions. Look for the data extension we created earlier. Then click Records. On this page, we can see that one record was added to this data extension. We can see the job ID of the send test made, the email name linked to this job ID, the subscriber key used for the preview, and the value associated with the variable ABC. Here, the value associated with the variable ABC was ABD and did not match the IF condition. Therefore, the ELSE condition was triggered, which contains the raise error function. You should now be ready to use a raise error function in your email and to see what value was passed for a specific AMP script variable. For more information, check out developer.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.